so good to see you. It's Marcy Brockman here. I just want to ask you one question. Are you a badass? I wonder what you'll answer what your answer is going to be. I used to not think I was a badass. I don't know if that made sense. I used to think I wasn't a badass. I was kind of shy. I was unsure of myself. Wasn't really sure where I was going in life. Kind of felt buoyed around by other people's opinions of me and other people's goals for me. Um, and I was kind of afraid to use my voice. And then everything changed. Um, you can read all about it in Permission to Land. It's the whole thing, the whole story. Um, I was compelled today to make a list of all of the reasons why I know I'm a badass. And I encourage you to make a list for yourself. All of the things that you've done in your life that you're just damn freaking proud of and that you can look at this list that you'll create. You can look at your own list when you're feeling a little down, when you're feeling the little nagging self-doubt in the corner, when you hear somebody else's negative words about something that you're doing or saying. You need to not listen to them. Don't listen to them and listen to yourself. Look at your own badass self list. For me, I just spent two minutes making a list. Um, for me, publishing my two new books over the summer, that was a huge badass move. Um, the birth of my two children, bringing life into the world, also badass move. Divorcing my ex-husband and finally standing up to years of emotional abuse, also a badass move. And then suing him years later for tuition money for my kids that they he owed them, also badass move. Um, I'm an amazing teacher. I've been a high school English teacher for 25 years. This is 26 years. And I love my job and I love connecting with students and being their go-to school person. For many of them, their school mom. And that makes me a badass. I'm also an exceptional mother and then have used all the tools that I have learned through over 30 years of journaling and over 20 some art years in therapy um, and reading every possible thing I could get my hands on um, to end the intergenerationality of emotional abuse and addiction and neglect and have raised two amazing, fabulous, kind, gentle, empathetic, souls. My children are amazing and every day make me proud. And even more important, they make themselves proud. Um, I also, I did, I think my most favorite badass move, one that revolutionized my life, completely made my life happy and full of love was, um, really all sort of tied in together. Um, I asked my husband Michael out on a first date. I was the first to say, I love you. And then six months after I told him I loved him and he told me he loved me back, six months later, I proposed marriage. I'm the one that proposed to him. And I knew he was going to eventually, but his timeline sucked. I didn't want his timeline. I am a firm believer of that that key line from when Harry met Sally at the end, that when you finally figure out what you want the rest of your life to look like, you want the rest of your life to start pretty damn quick. So I wanted to start now. And so I asked him to marry me. I created a, um, a lovely um, video, like slideshow video, and I used Etta James's At Last as the background music, and I... Uh, played it for him on YouTube and he was bawling and crying and it was just the most amazing thing and I am a total badass. My dad, when I told him, hey dad, Mike and I are getting married, his first response of course is, you know, how'd he do it? But no, 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 no. I told him I proposed and my dad was all taken aback. He was like, oh, really? Um, is that legit? You know, uh, uh, is that okay? And I'm like, well, wouldn't you prefer to know that you've raised a daughter who goes after what she wants, who asks for what she wants in this life and doesn't wait to be picked on, 
does not picked on, but doesn't wait to be chosen, doesn't wait for someone else to ask her? Isn't it better that you raised a badass who knows what she wants in this world and goes out and gets it and asks for it and is very clear about her intentions? And my dad was like, yeah, I guess so. I'm like, no, 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 no. No, I guess so about it. you damn straight. Being a badass will get you what you want. No shrinking violets, no being quiet, no like, oh, I can't make too much noise, or I can't make too many waves, or oh, I can't do this. No, listen to the haters. No, listen to the people who are jealous of the moves that you're making. Go out and do what you want. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone, as long as it's a positive move, figure out what you want your goals to be, figure out how to get yourself there, and then every day take one small action, or big action, but move your peace, move yourself forward towards fulfilling your goal. That's how you can be a badass too. Anyway, this is Marcy Brockman. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, look, I just noticed Stacey Williams is, Williamson is here. Hi, Stacey. So good to see you. Um, please don't forget, in approximately an hour and a half at 8.30 tonight, I am going live right here on my Facebook page, uh, Marcy Brockman, or uh, Facebook at Marcy527. I am going live for the third installment, I think, or fourth, I forget what week we're on, of um, Ask Me Anything, my new uh, Facebook live show that is happening every single Tuesday night right here on Facebook at 8.30. So in an hour and five minutes, no. No, an hour and a half, an hour and 35 minutes. I can't do math. In an hour and 35 minutes, we are. I am going live here. Um, bring your questions. You can literally ask me anything. I have two or three questions that have been Facebook messaged me and or people just asked me via email. Um, you can email me at marcybrockman at gmail.com. Uh, Brockman has two N's, B-R-O-C-K-M-A-N-N -N at gmail.com. Or you can show up live. And um, hopefully I'll see you in about an hour and a half. So I'm saying goodbye. Be a badass. Be your best self. Get out of your own way and do it. Take charge of your life now.